It began January 2nd when an armed anti-government group took over a national wildlife refuge in eastern Oregon. Then, late yesterday, the standoff suddenly lurched into violent conflict. And today, questions swirled about what happened and what happens next. After weeks of waiting, federal and state officers corralled the militia leaders during a traffic stop. Looked like they were making some arrests and clogging up the highway. I'm glad to see an end to this. Hopefully it is an end to this. They were captured as they drove to a community meeting in John Day, Oregon, 70 miles north of Burns, near the wildlife refuge. Gunfire erupted during the confrontation, and the group's unofficial spokesman, Lavoy Finnicum, was shot and killed. The Arizona rancher had said he'd rather die than be arrested. Jason Patrick is one of those still occupying the refuge. They told us that we could safely leave. Well. The group that was leaving has a dead man in it. There's another man who left and was in Arizona, and he's in custody. They've said peaceful resolution the whole time, so it depends on what you believe. FBI officials refused today to give details of how the shooting happened, while insisting the whole situation could have been avoided. The armed occupiers have been given ample opportunity to leave the refuge peacefully. They have given, been given opportunities to negotiate, Instead, these individuals have chosen to threaten and intimidate the America they profess to love and, through criminal actions, bring these consequences upon themselves. Amanda Peacher is with Oregon Public Broadcasting and has been covering the standoff. Oh, it is very tense and um, a very anxious place here in Burns, Oregon today. I think. A lot of people in this community have been suffering uh, for, for weeks now, wondering how this is going to end. And while some people in this community sympathize with the militants' message that federal lands would be in better hands under local control, no one here wanted violence. So I'm seeing a lot of grief and a lot of anxiety and uncertainty as to what could happen next with the remaining occupiers still at the refuge and with the hefty law enforcement presence here in Burns. Authorities arrested the group's leader, Ammon Bundy, at the traffic stop, along with his brother, Ryan, and three others, Brian Cavalier, Shauna Cox, and Ryan Payne. Two other occupiers, Joseph Donald O'Shaughnessy and Peter Santilli, were taken into custody separately back in Burns. Hours later, an eighth militia member, John Eric Ritzheimer, surrendered to police in Arizona. Each will face felony charges of conspiring to impede federal officers. The group has occupied the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge since January 2nd to protest federal control of public lands. We want to make sure that they remain open to the public where people can hunt and fish and hike and camp and watch, watch the birds. We also want to make sure that those who own the rights on these lands can use it without inhibitation from government. But the local sheriff, Dave Ward, warned today that it's time for the standoff to end. It's time for everybody in this illegal occupation to move on. There doesn't have to be bloodshed in our community. If we have issues with the way things are going in our government, we have a responsibility as citizens to act on those in an appropriate manner. We don't arm up. Again, Amanda Peacher. Those remaining have decided to stay no matter what it takes. They, many have told reporters that they are willing to die there, and they seem to be making preparations to sort of hunker down. Um, we have heard reports that they're building trenches and that they are uh, armed, although we don't know to what extent, and um, they seem ready to, to stay and potentially fight. Checkpoints have now been set up along key routes in and out of the refuge to secure the area. One of the occupation leaders says five or six militia members are still holding out there.